Hey guys, Joseph here. Today, we're doing another video. And today, this is another Joseph car video. And today, I'll be showing you how to install this Orski dash cam, which comes with a title, it is how to install the dash cam. This dash cam, it's really good, this dash cam. This was given to us as a gift, it was. And these are very good dash cams, I uh hope. -huh. It's really good. So it records in 1080p. Films. It's a S680. I think if you get the maybe yes, you can get these with rear cameras. But mine is a non. Mine doesn't have the rear, but it's still a good camera. So yeah, we can open the box. I've had this open plenty of times. So the dash cam. Will originally be sitting there, but I couldn't get back there. Package. So we're gonna open the box. Here's a dash cam right there. Here's the two mounts that come with it. Get them out of package. They even have this protection film all over them. To make it a bit better. You can tell this has literally never been opened before. There's my two suction mounts. Cigar. But later on, I'll be hardwiring this later on. Might hardwire it later on. There's wire for PC and charger. I have charged it up before making this film. So, yeah, here's the camera right here. And there's this screen cover. Which you can literally pull off. No, this is a little tight. There you go. There it is. There's that off. Well, I think that was a screen protector. There you go. There's the dash cam. You don't really need that anyway. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna pause a sec, just thinking him, just pausing for a minute. Right guys, here we go. Don't think that was a screen because I just chucked it. Don't know. Don't really need it anyway. So there's a suction mounts which will suck to your windscreen, so So first you'll obviously start it up by holding that power button right there. You can see the signs on there, don't know if you can focus this on camera. There you go, there's a power button at the bottom. There you go, we're powering up there. There are a few settings. It will say, you probably think, on the insert SD card because I haven't inserted one. But just look at the great quality camera. Look at it, it's great quality. So yeah, I'm, we're going to have to set date up on this. But so yeah, we're going to switch this off for now. There you go. We'll take this over to the car. So I'm going to pause, go to the car right now. Right guys, we're in the car. So first, now you've got to think of the location. You're thinking of sticking the dash cam. I think I'll do it behind the mirror. That's my location. So what the location you're thinking of putting it? I think I'll wipe it a bit. So now pick a mount. I think anyone's all the same anyway. I think that's the one. So now will you peel this film off?
doing this one handed. Exclude I'm on my own too. This literally isn't even clean either. Here you go, that's stuck on there, good, that is. So now, I'm going to grab the dash cam. So yeah guys, I'm just going to screw it on there and I'll be back. Or should I just try and mount you? I'm going to pause and just give you a mount, mount you quickly. I was going to pause here. So I'll be back well, any second now. Right guys, here you go. We're going to mount this dash cab. The mount hole's there. So yeah. I'm exclude. I've never, I've not read the manual. So exclude me for that. So guys, I'm just going to have to turn this other around now. Not the best decision, what I've just done there. I need to mount it slightly higher too. Guys, there you go. I've got it mounted. Excuse me. There you go. That's that in. But first, I'm going to quickly just put you back on the mount right now i'm back to where i am so i'm gonna pause here right now so there you go step one complete so now we're, i'm gonna temporarily use a cigar for this so it plugs in the top so i maybe could feed it behind there and feed it down there see i'll just, just make my own decision up i'll have to mount you somewhere though I do this I need two hands to do it so I'm going to open the package here so like that so here you go I'm going to open this all up grab a cigar quite a relatively long cigar so I could feed it to get it maybe down to here that, that'll have to go no. <laughs> that'll have to disappear so yeah, I'm going to pause mount you there and I'm going to start feeding right now. Right guys, I've got you mounted. I just don't know what you guys can see. But yeah guys, I don't know if you can see that I'm going to start feeding there. So right. We want to mount this at the top of the dash cam. Let's grab you a minute. I want to mount it from, plug it in up there and I want to get it behind all this headline. Turn you around. Get it in there, get it up behind that, this uh, alarm movement sensor, and then run it along up there and down there. I know not, not a lot of these have that. See, I'm going to pause here to feed this. Here's my idea. If I can get on there, it looks like a can in this car. See, I'm going to feed it up there. So I'm going to pause and get this feeded right now. So that's all looking so far, I'm just feeding it, just pushing it behind there. So, don't about the ticket, I'm going to get around that ticket holder. That's how I'm just doing it. 
It'll come out and get around that ticket holder. There you go, it's back in. See, I'm going to pause and finish off right now, so I'm hiding, and I'll tell you how I did it. Right now. This is how I've done it. I've made it go behind there, so I may try and feed it through to behind here to maybe get it to pop out here. That's my plan so far. So yeah, I'm going to pause and I've got it through right now. Right, guys, we need this little stick to get that little connector to drop out there in the middle. So I'm going to start pushing that connect that little thing that goes in the cigar right now and I'll be back to you right now little up day right I just great guys I've just undone the screws on that two pound just to pull it down a bit to fry it I might get a little metal stick to skid it and get on the rest on that so I can now I can pull the wire right through so right I don't need to pull this right out so yeah I'm gonna pause and get this through right now right guys I've managed to get the wire out of the way of all these pedals, you don't want to get in the way of clutch, accelerate, you don't want to get in the way of clutch, brake or accelerator, so I've used duct tape to get it over there, so now, our job is to just, literally, plug it right in, there you go, I'll just fix up that wire slightly, it's literally freezing out of it, but when you're working on cars, you can fight against cold. Yeah, it's a fact. So there you go. Finished in there now. So, so yeah. I'm going to sort of pause here and just put things and tidy it up a bit. I'm going to pause here right now. Right, guys, I've tidied up the wire a bit. I've literally stuck it under there. And the other, so you can see, won't get in the way of any pedals anymore. No, I think that'd be alright, guys. I think I'll just push that away, just unblock the foot rest of it. There you go. I don't know if that duct tape will even be needed. It's there just in case. There you go, when you're in the car, you can now hardly see this. You can hardly see it. So now, just put me little torques set away. Which I have here. <sighs> Torque screwdriver away. Plus all this. <sighs> there you go. There's no catch in it, it's broken slightly. But yeah, put the torch back in there. See, so yeah. I'm just gonna pause and just put this away and I'll be back right to now. Right guys, we're gonna start popping trims back now, so I'm gonna go and grab this. <sighs> this trim here. Right here, slots in. In the old V70s. Pops in. So when you look at it, looks like it comes it came from the factory like it, it does. I know why we fitted it, it looks... Just look at it, it looks like it's came from the factory. Except that wire, apart from that, it looks like it's come factory like this. Yeah. It's all under there, all the wires. The one does not... There's the obviously obd do port. Right there. There that is. There. We did a great job. So yeah guys, I'm just gonna pause and just tidy this thing up. So yeah, have a pause and a little magic and magic and editing. So right guys, it's tidied up. The only thing we need to do now is just go and get ourselves an SD card to trust having doors. So yeah. With a magic of editing, here comes the SD card right now. Right guys, here's our SD card. Here we are. Open it up. So yeah, I'm going to pause, open it up. We just cleaned the wire enough bit there. Make it look a bit cleaner, so I'm going to pause here. And I'm just going to open this up right now. Right guys, here comes the SD card up. Oh, here it is. Very delicate. Goes in a little card slot right there. 
out of the way, guys. There you go. In it goes. It's delicate, so I'm going to have to just cook it in. Oh, you go. So you need nails to do this. And yes, I'm not the best one, so do not... Go, got it in. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna pause and turn the, the car on. So I have to switch off the radio. So I'm gonna pause here. Here you go. As soon as you turn the car on, dash cam automatically turns on, and automatically records automatically. So yeah, we do need to do some setting changes. So here you go. It's automatically records. Just to shut it off recording, I'm just going to switch off the car. It'll shut down after five seconds. So yeah, guys, you have to turn it off so you can switch it on. Here you go, it does turn on. It will shut down after five seconds. See motion detection for now will have to be on. <sighs> Date and time. Oh, and oops, I do not want to do that. <sighs> Press OK. Two thousand nineteen. Yes, it's the year. The month, I think, so 12, is the 12th, this is a month. Yes, 12th month, it's December right now. And current date, it's the 15th. No battery, warning. I need to car power. It will not be wiper. I think you have to switch it all off and switch it back on. Ah, so, oh, here you go. It's now in charge. Start engine. I'm using battery from the car to run this. Date and time, okay, that's correct. It's the fourteenth today, and the fifteenth. Hope you can read the fifteenth. Okay, time. It's fifteen. Yeah, set. Don't really care about the seconds too much. Now I can back out. Oh, no. Yeah, park mode, and you just tap that. So yeah, you can set the dash cam. That's gonna look good in video. Right there. So yeah, it's got a wide-angled camera. So yeah, you got good view ahead. Sealed. Because we get loads of dangerous drivers on the road. That's what made us think of this, and this was given to us. You might as well use it. And so when you look at it. Look, see, it's not going to interfere with it. I've had to change my shoes since I was earlier. I accidentally knocked the throttle, so I had to change my shoes over. So, yeah, make sure you choose good settings. I said that there, rest the GoPro on it. 
So yeah, one of this to help me feed that in. So yeah, that's the GoPro. So when you turn it off, GoPro should automatically turn off. Shut down after five seconds when you automatically. See, so there you go. That's off. That's automatically powered when it's in position one for mine. So I'll just turn ignition. On it comes. Here it comes. There you go. And yes, it automatically records. So that's good. So yeah, you want park mode on when you're not at the car. And this has night vision. So, I'm going to pause and give you some view from the dash cam right now. Right guys, we have it on the recommended settings. We're out on the road now. As you can see, it's performing very well. There you go. Uh, oh, and so right guys, now I'm going to pause and give you footage on the dash cam right now. Right guys, this is us going along the road. Dash cam footage right now. So yeah guys, this is the footage on the dash cam. Pretty good dash cam footage. It's just us going along my road along our road here. So yeah, that's the footage on dash cam. So yeah guys. I'm going to pause and show you some night footage right now. Right, guys, this is nighttime footage on dash cam now. Pretty great at night. It's just a bit of a rainy footage. No? So you can see, see, it's still great in the rain. And now I want to give you a bit of a drier night footage. So I'm going to pause and give you that footage right now. Right, guys. This is a drier footage. So there you go. It's just on a roundabout, the bit I'm showing you here. So yeah, guys. Good at night, too. So yeah. If it's not raining, still a good dash cam. Still good in the rain. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to pause here. And let's go and end this video off right now. Right, guys. We're going to end off this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. And please give. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And maybe consider subscribing. Then hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe. And have a nice day. See you.